1946, Bishop Francis Hawes was looking for a new place to establish a church. It would become the first in Sheboygan County. The original church would be designed by Alden B. Dow of Midland, Michigan. It would later become the Cross in the Woods. In 1946, Bishop Francis Hawes, who practiced in Grand Rapids, would move up to northern Michigan with the intention of starting a new church around the Indian River area. The parishioners who lived around the Indian River had to travel all the way to Afton for Mass. Bishop Hawes, with the help of Friar Arthur Leroux from Alverno, would enlist the help of James Harrington, a businessman who would help locate the land for the new church. Mr. Harrington would attempt to purchase land around the Burt Lake State Park. However, the Department of Conservation would not allow him to as they were saving it for future development. On June 23rd of 1946, Friar Charles Brophy would become the administrator of the new parish in the Indian River area. Friar Brophy originally wanted to name the church after Gaudeli de Guaguita, she was a Mohawk native in the 17th century who converted to Christianity. She would carve small crosses and leave them all around the woods as makeshift shrines. However, he could not name it after her because at the time she had not been declared a saint. While in Buffalo, New York, Mr. Harrington visited an outdoor church and that sparked an idea. Finally, in May of 1948, they were granted the land needed to construct this church at the cost of one dollar and a box of candy. They would contract a student of Frank Lloyd Wright, Alden B. Dow of Midland, Michigan, to design the church. In 1949, construction of the church would finish. Friar Brophy expressed to Alden Dow his dream of constructing a massive statue of Jesus Christ on the cross on Calvary Hill. The two decided to build the biggest cross there ever was. Construction of the cross would begin in 1952. It was decided they would use redwood harvested from Oregon. The Mock Seattle Lumber Company would be contracted to provide the lumber. As for the hill that the cross would stand on, a massive concrete foundation would be buried underneath the soil to help support the entire structure. On August 5th of 1954, Hundreds of people would gather to watch as a crane would lift up the massive cross and place it on Calvary Hill. 3,000 people would attend the dedication ceremony. Bishop Babcock would state, The cross looks like an empty house without the figure of Christ on it. 
following that, he would announce that the renowned sculptor, Marshall Fredericks, had accepted the job to design a figure of Christ to be placed on the cross. Mr. Fredericks would design a plaster mold of the statue, and then take it to Oslo, Norway, to be cast in bronze. On August 9th of 1959, the seven-ton sculpture was placed on the cross. The sculpture was titled, The Man on the Cross. There are many other shrines of the cross in the wood, such as the Shrine of Our Lady of the Highway, and the Shrine of St. Francis, and many more. The stairs leading up to the shrine are called the Holy Stairs. They emulate the stairs that Jesus Christ had to climb when he was going to the throne of Pontius Pilate, where he would be condemned to death. In 2006, the site was declared a national shrine by the United States Conference of Catholic Bishops. The shrine sees over 300,000 visitors every year. The Cross in the Woods is a beautiful sight to behold, an impressive shrine that will never be forgotten. What's up? <laughs> hey, uh, you wanna wanna get out of the shop there? <laughs> <laughs>